Hi everybody, I'm Kevin Ferguson. I've got uh, Ryan Freda. Back for another one. Back for another one, yeah. our cricket expert. Um, SA Cricket we're using We're using expert loosely. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I've always used expert. I'm a, good, I'm a good guesser. I'm a loose guy. <laughs> uh, and I know you are. <laughs> Cricket World Cup. Uh, what are we to make of it so far? Let's, let's look at uh, you know, your New Zealand. They always seem to find a way to make the semi-finals. Yeah. And what they did to England. How much should we read into that? A Ben Wokeless. <laughs> <laughs> a Ben Wokeless team. Yeah. Uh, who's, who's very instrumental in that team. Yeah. Um, New Zealand hammered them, in essence. Yeah, they've, I mean, finalists in the last two World Cups, um, and that performance was comprehensive. Uh, I think we spoke last week, we said in between India and England, those are our favourites um, to win the tournament, yeah. and then New Zealand come through and, and <laughs> kind of England. embarrass our opinion. But, yeah, I, they, they, they're just one of those teams that, I think, uh, I think I described them yesterday in a piece as a collection of gifted grafters. <laughs> yeah. Exp expert alliteration. Yeah. That's um, good, that's and, a good um, description. Yeah, and I think, I think they, just, they just overwhelmed England in every way um, in that first game. And um, it's fair to say that England were maybe 50 to 70 rounds short of a pass score on a dead wicket. Mm. Um, and then New Zealand took complete like advantage of, of it batting second. Mm -hmm. The dew became a factor. England couldn't really swing it anymore. I still think England, as long as they don't have a, 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 a as long as they're not tripped up by one of the lesser nations, I mean, it's still to me a favorite to get into the semi-final. Yeah, I think and, so. But I would say equally, looking at South Africa's performance, because Sri Lanka are that bogey team, right? We, we, we lost to Holland in the last World yeah. Cup. So it wouldn't be much of a, a how much of a reach to think that we could, you know, that could have been a banana peel for us. But man, we absolutely destroyed that. Yeah, I've seen online a lot of a lot of guys going, it's only Sri Lanka. Yeah, and I think that's I think that's fair to an extent, but I mean well, if South you Africans look... are pretty pessimistic <laughs> when it you know it's like yes, Understandably so. Yeah. I mean when the when the box win the World Cup, it's like, well we didn't play the box. Yeah. We didn't play New Zealand. You know, yeah, it's yeah. always uh, it's, uh, we grew up in that world now. Can only play what's in front of you, and um, and I would I would understand that point of view if South Africa hadn't been playing good ODI cricket leading into the tournament, yeah, yeah. and suddenly found this performance from nowhere. Mm. But it's consistent with what they've done this year. Um, they, I mean, they lost those two early games against uh, Australia in that series, and then absolutely blitzed them. Mm. And um, and I mean, like I say, you can play what's in front of you. Australia, I mean, sorry. Sri Lanka were missing some key bowlers. That's that's going to affect any side. But again, you can only play what's in front of you. Three Centurions, one of them scoring the fastest hundred in World Cup history, ODI World Cup awesome. history. Awesome. Yeah, um, and then um, and then just setting a World Cup um, record for team total. You you've got to you've got to applaud them for that, and you've got to see it within the context of what they've done this year. And it's consistent with what they've done from a batting perspective this year. Mm. If you want to be critical, I think the bowling is an issue. Mm. Um, they, they beat Sri Lanka by 102 runs, I think it is, but Sri Lanka still got 325. And um, teams have consistently scored 300 against us in ODI you know, I cricket think maybe this year. The track, you could be critical, but I mean, the track was obviously a great batting yeah. track. Yeah, that's fair. Remember I mean, the 750 <laughs> runs scored in an ODI. You got to look at the track, but yeah. also you, the bowlers, are, you know, you're not, um, you got a lot to defend, so yeah. they're, you know, it doesn't put a lot of pressure on them. Yeah. But one of the things I like to, to discuss is, if you look at Van der Dusen, he goes about his work. Uh, he he he's not flamboyant. He's not. Uh, he's like the uh, Pete Sampras of of, of cricket. <laughs> he's, he's, that's, a, know, that's a good comparison. Yeah. And what he does is nothing short of remarkable. Absolutely. I mean, on, um, on Saturday, he played his 50th ODI. Mm. And the guy averages nearly 70. Mm. And, um, to your, that's your average, 
wasn't it? <laughs> My bowling average bowling. again, yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, um, so I, I, I mean, I looked at his record. He averaged 60 or 70. I can't quite remember now. But I looked at his record um, across the, the, the entirety of his career. And it's like you said, it's nothing short of remarkable. And when you watch him play, the situations he came, especially early in his career, situations he came in um, at, whether it be three or four, um, were some high-pressure situations. Mm. Um, South Africa has kind of settled that opening partnership mm -hmm. um, in the last 18 months or so. So he hasn't been under that sort of pressure. But still, to average, to average above 50 for the entirety of your career under those circumstances and across different types of surfaces and against different attacks is phenomenal. Why doesn't he get the credit he deserves? I don't know. And I've got to look at myself there because I haven't praised him to the extent that he should be praised. Um, for a player to sustain that performance over 50 ODI games, it's not like he's five games into his career and averaging over no. 50. He's 50 games into his career, averaging over 50. And, Shouldn't and you be talking about him as one of the best that South Africa's produced? Statistically, he stands up in comparison to the best we produce. Yeah. Abri Villiers, yeah. Gibbs, Smith. The, I mean, these guys are phenomenal white ball players. From Faf to Plessis, he stands up in comparison to those players, or yeah. those elite players, not only the best South African players, but the best ODI players in the history of the game. Mm. He stands up in comparison to. Yeah. I'm just glad he's ours. I am too, and, and with, with, with that composure, which I think is nothing, it's a great word for, for him at the crease. You know, he could, he, if South Africa has success, he could be the player of the tournament. I know, I, look, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Yeah. Uh, one swallow doesn't make a summer. Yeah. Um, but impressed with what I've seen with him over an extended period of time. And I guess it's almost people are waiting for him to fail. Yeah, I, it's, it's a strange thing. Um, you know, I, I wrote in on SA Cricket Mag um, post the Sri Lanka result that they people are, they are tougher people tests people to come. People don't read anymore. You know no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're tougher tests to come. They watch yeah. videos, so hopefully yeah. they get it here. Yeah. Yeah. They're tougher tests to come. Their temperament will be tested against yeah. Australia on Thursday um, and, um, and in the matches thereafter. But again, you've got you've to look at what they've achieved to this point against really good opposition. England, they've played England this year. They've played Australia this year. Those are two elite ODI teams mm. in world cricket. And Van der has stood up there. And it's a huge game for Australia. It's more important for Australia to win that game than South Africa. Absolutely. Especially given what India done to them in that, in that first game. Bowled out for 200 and, um, and then had India at, uh, at three for nothing. Yeah. Um, and then lose the game by six wickets. Mm. Not only that, dropped Kohli early in the innings. Mm -hmm. um, and then he goes on to win the game for them. Yeah. And, um, and so they come into the game under pressure. Yeah. They've, they've lost, um, you know, I, I, I just, looking at the statistics now, they lost and three Gil, in a Gil row. And didn't play in that game. Maybe. Yeah. Who was that? Yeah. Shubh McGill. Yeah, yeah, he's injured. And he's, and he's injured for, for the next one as well. So, but they should win that against good Afghanistan. Good thing I took him as high score. <laughs> I think he'll catch up. He's such a good player. Yeah. But Australia come into the game under pressure. They lost three on the bounce against South Africa. Then lost two on the bounce against India just before the World Cup. Won a consolation yeah. um, game at the end of that series, and then lost to India in their first in their World Cup opener. Yeah. So they come in under massive pressure, mm, yeah. um, and so let's see how they deal with it. Um, we do. And, and Australia are a bogey team for us at the World Cup. So I, I think that um, I think people start believing if if we beat Australia, if we put them to the sword. Yeah, Australia. I think people start believing if we win, if we if we win against India, especially. And but Australia, given the history in the tournament, um, given our recent history against them as well. Yeah. I'm doing I'm doing a video piece after this, looking at the combined SA um, Australia eleven, yeah. and South Africa dominate them. Really. So. Um, especially looking at it from statist statistical perspective um, in the calendar year to date. Yeah. We, we blow them away. 
I, saw, I got a sneak preview of that list, and, and I see no Warner. So I'm, I, no. now I'm picking Bavuma over Warner, but you guys can watch that. We'll we'll <laughs> include the link in <laughs> in the description below. Yeah, but, a lot um, of Australians shaking their head, mate. Well, they they can't argue it from a statistical point no. of view. David Warner averages forty five. Timbo Bavuma averages seventy one. Have, have you ever spoken to an Australian? They can argue. <laughs> But getting back to your point, I agree. Australia coming to this under big pressure. Yeah. And because, we can, effectively, I believe that South Africa knocked them out of this tournament. I agree. Yeah. I agree because I, I can't see them beating... After that, I can't see them beating England. And then they've got three, on the, um, three losses um, in the tournament to date. Um, and they're needing a miracle from somewhere. Then it's out of their hands completely. Yeah. yeah. Even two puts a, puts a ridiculous amount of pressure on them when you think there's only four that's, that's going through. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Then it starts to look different. Then we start to talk about, then we start to talk about South Africa sneaking to that fourth spot. Like we said last week, my, um, the team that comes in in the, in the fourth place for me is Australia. So I went England, India, um, New Zealand, Australia. And, um, and you said South Africa is a semi-finalist for you. Mm. Then that starts to look far more real. Yeah. Um, under well, those what do circumstances. I know? You know. Well, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. It'd be nice if Pakistan would film this on the day of Pakistan are playing Sri Lanka. If Sri Lanka upset uh, Pakistan, it's good for us. And yeah. Actually, Pakistan don't look that great to me. Yeah, they've, like we said last week, Name Shah is a massive miss for them. Is, yeah. They were, they were, I mean, they were comprehensive in the opener. Um, one by 81 runs, if I can remember correctly. But um, but there's something there's something missing in that team, and I think it's Shah. But again, Pakistan have the they, they were number one in the world coming a week before the tournament started, yes, yeah. so uh, so you can't write them off. No, you mm. can't. Uh, you still steadfast on the two on England or, or India winning? You, yeah, absolutely. Changed? I think I think um, I mean while we while we're filming this, India is busy um, <laughs> dismantling. Um, the opposition there, um, and so India will beat Afghanistan. Um, <laughs> they'll they'll roll on. And Who then, hasn't beaten Afghanistan? Exactly. I think Afghanistan, Netherlands, whooping boys of the tournament. We beat Australia. We play Netherlands next. Yeah. Suddenly things are looking completely yeah, different. Unless we lose to them. <laughs> yeah. We lost to them in the last T20 World yeah. Cup. Yeah. Um, I can't see that happening again, though. No, I can't. Yeah. Just, just South Africa's got. To, uh, I'm 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 optimistic, you know, and uh, if we can beat Australia this week, well, that'd be fantastic. Everything changes. Yeah. yeah. But like you say, big week for South Africa, yeah. defining week for South Africa, I think. Yeah. yeah. And uh, look, I think they can beat Australia. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So good luck, uh, Portillas. Going with the boys. Going with the boys. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.